I'm in something of a quandary. Uh, quandary, by the way, is a word. Yes, it is. Uh... <laughs> Here's my, here's, my, here's my quandary. There are two people, two people in the studio audience tonight who are from Holland. And, uh, of course, the temptation. They, 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 and they arrive separately by uh, Dutch plane. <laughs> by the way, Dutch plane is the name of one of the greatest carpenters of the Old West. <laughs> uh, no, don't, don't. Anyway, they, uh, have, well, that chair looks like it. Yeah, it was made by a Dutch plane, yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. The temptation, you know, when someone is in from Holland, you know, that happens every now and again. People are, come over from Holland. They, they like to see the show. They love the, you know, the topography. Uh, <laughs> but they like hills and stuff because it's so flat in Holland. It's flat, you know. Yeah, well, I know it's quite flat here, but look at the hills out there. <laughs> It's quite flat there as well. Look, they, they... all right, they come here for the prostitutes. But what I'm saying is, oh yeah, because there's no prostitutes at all. Yeah. Anyway, look, here's the thing. <laughs> Man, if you've never been to Amsterdam, you have to go. I've been twice. I have no recollection of it, but I feel I enjoyed myself. Uh, anyway, look, the, um, the thing is, whenever people are, are, are visiting from Holland, I, you know, I want to embrace everyone here. I like to, you know, but, but, but the temptation to do jokes about, you know, dikes and all that, you know, it's very strong. It's the, same, it's the same when we're discussing planets and then, you know, the subject of Uranus always comes up. <laughs> and then, you know, and people, you know, say, well, it's not Uranus, it's Uranus. And I went, no, no, it's not. Come on, we know that. <laughs> So, that's what we have to do now with Holland. It's not dykes, it's lesbians. <laughs> you know? You see, you have to be... That, that, that's, it, that's the thing. Unless, you know, it's your word, you can't, you know, it's, that's the deal, everybody. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> The hills? <laughs> I got nothing, but the show may be better. <laughs>
America. But a rather unnerving day here in Los Angeles because the police are looking uh, in, around. You can probably see the police. Uh, <laughs> They're looking for vandals who broke into the Obama campaign office here. They said it was probably an attack by someone who's angry with the president. <laughs> well, that narrows it down a little bit, doesn't it? It's everybody on the right, everybody on the left. Here's some amazing news. Tell us, Craig, tell us, please. Well, I will. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was congratulating there. No, it, Nissan, you know Nissan, the car people, am I allowed to say that? I, I, well, I said it. Anyway, they, uh, they're developing a car that can read minds. And I'm like, oh. I don't know if I want the car reading my mind. I've got a one-track mind. Does that mean the car's going to turn into a Hummer? <laughs> Great, don't, 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 don't. Look, when you applaud, you alert the sensor. <laughs> Anyway, it's a bear, 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 a bear. That's all, folks. I... No, it's a big day for me. You probably can tell because uh, it, today is National Coffee Day. I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> Does that make you nervous? Put the lotion in the basket. No, the, I, I, it is. It's National Coffee Day. So you know, huzzah for watery stimulants. I freely admit. <laughs> I freely admit I am addicted to coffee. I, if I don't have coffee, I am a cranky, miserable bastard. But if after I have a cup of coffee, I am a speedy, cranky, miserable bastard. <laughs> I used to get my coffee in the same place every day at the Starbucks up on Melrose up there. <laughs> anyway, I stopped because they wouldn't let people use the bathroom. And I'm like, what? He said, no, because I wanted to use the bathroom one day. I, I'm a human. And uh, they said, I, I, I'd like to use the bathroom in the Starbucks. And they said, no, we, we don't, uh, we don't uh, let you, we, we, you. It's locked. And I'm like, coffee is a diuretic. <laughs> what kind of hell is this? They said, well, we can't uh, open the bathroom because prostitutes were conducting their business inside the bathroom. And I'm like, what? Well, do you want them conducting their business outside the bathroom? <laughs> and then I'm like, well, why not? We're already getting screwed by the $10 cup of coffee. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you applaud and you agree, but you go back there. <laughs> anyway, I'm not allowed to tell you which Starbucks it was, but it was the one up on Melrose. <laughs> the cross street is Stanley. It's Melrose and Stanley. <laughs> but I can't tell you which one it is. <laughs> but it's that one. <laughs> anyway, I stopped going and protested them, and I got my daily coffee somewhere else. I, I taught them a lesson by going to the Starbucks next door. <laughs> The Starbucks logo, of course, is a mermaid with no clothes on, which is very racy. You can see the nipples and the genitals and everything. I mean, you have to draw them on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I, I go out of That's why I get a big O coming up. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thanks. Now the sensor knows about two things. That's why I always go to Starbucks with a big Sharpie. <laughs> and a pen. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> don't! Anyway, I, no, I don't mind. I'd rather see the mermaid on the cup than those inspirational quotes. Remember they used to put the inspirational quote on the cup? I'm like, oh, piss off! <laughs> an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Yeah, whatever, Gandhi. <laughs> that was Gandhi, wasn't it? Now, whatever, Gandhi, put some pants on. Uh, <laughs> They also used to, have, the worst was even they had a regular, uh, you know, uh, regular customers, would do, they'd have quotes from them. If I want to read a name drivel, I'll follow a Kardashian on Twitter. I don't need to <laughs> read it on my... <laughs> Went shopping. It was awesome. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Why are their lives so much better than mine? <laughs> Anyway, to me, the worst thing about a coffee shop, though, I like coffee, but the worst thing is the terrible sound when, you know, they grind the beans. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let that go by, man, I can't. You know, by they, you know, when, they, when I say they grind the beans, by they, I mean prostitutes, and by... 
And by beans, of course, I mean testicles. <laughs> and by grind, I, I, I mean grind, actually. <laughs> Anyway, these days all the, the all the coffee chains put the, have to put the uh, the warning on the cup. You know, careful, the beverage you're about to enjoy is extremely hot because someone spilled coffee in their lap and got burned, and and they they sued they sued them. Like what? <laughs> now we all have to read that crap, and I'm like, I, I don't like that because it doesn't give me enough room for my inspirational messages from Gandhi. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig, wait a minute, you just said you didn't like those inspirational messages on the coffee cups. Well, I can hold two opposing viewpoints at the same time. It's a sign of an excellent mind. I read that on a coffee cup. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I kind of impressed myself there with that. Oh, how did that work? Well, we got there. Uh, look, there's a new study that came out the other day that says that coffee fights depression in women. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Why doesn't it fight depression in men? But then it turns out that the study was only of women. And it was conducted by dudes in coffee shops. <laughs> A lot of people uh, think coffee is bad for kids. I think kids should go to coffee shops as often as possible. They need to see firsthand what will happen to them if they major in philosophy. <laughs> if, no, don't, no, no. No, if, if, Descartes, if Descartes were alive today, he'd be working in a coffee shop. He would... I think, therefore, I am getting you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Nietzsche, Nietzsche would say, that which does not kill us makes us lattes. <laughs> Rousseau would say, man is born free, but this mochaccino will cost you five bucks. <laughs> you got anything, Jeff? Yeah, Plato would say, knowledge is the food of the soul, and it goes great with banana muffins. <laughs> My favourite philosopher, Beyoncé, would say, if you liked it, then you should have put whipped cream on it. That's it. Ah. There you go. Are you a big, you a big coffee drinker? Do you drink? Big coffee drinker. Really? Huh? Yeah, I find that it goes right through me. <laughs> Did you ever go up to that mystery Starbucks at Melrose, the cross street of Stanley right there? No one. Oh, ever, that, that one over there? Yeah, yeah, it's up, just up the back. Yeah, all the time. I, I, every time I gotta take a leak, I, I can't go. <laughs> Have you ever noticed any prostitutes conducting their business? That's why I go there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, because you can get coffee anywhere. <laughs> I've made a lot of money over there. Do the, you ready to do that? Sure, why not? All right, all right well, do the, do the thing. All right. all right. Coming up after the break, oatmeal wrestling with Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Tonight we're celebrating National Coffee Day. <laughs> Mine's is wearing off a little bit. <laughs> do you uh, do you celebrate National Coffee Day with anything in particular? A little parade? Maybe go swimming, throw beads at people, anything like that? Oh, so you've been there before? <laughs> been where? I think you know. <laughs> Well, that Starbucks up in Melrose that we're not allowed to say? That's right. The one with the cross street, Stanley? Is it Jeffrey Peterson? Bro, bro, I have tweet mail for you. Very best one, buddy. Very best. You read. You like, bro. Go to 
remember their day and my tambourine. And your emails. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got a monkey in my pants tonight, Jeff. Ooh. <laughs> and I've got a banana. <laughs> Let's get together and have a good time. All right. All right. Uh, all right, this is from Caroline in Evanston, Illinois. You ever been to Evanston, Illinois? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. All right, dear Craig and Jeff, there seem to be three basic activities in life, eating, sleeping, and having sex. Is there really anything else? <laughs> I do all three of those on my own. <laughs> At the same time. Thanks to Kundalini Yoga. <laughs> Jeff, uh, anything else other than eating, sleeping, having sex? Um, drinking coffee. Which I think is a euphemism for having sex. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh, I know it is. Well, it is now, obviously, but it, it wasn't until you made it one. I sold myself in front of a coffee shop for about five years. That's how you get ahead in Los Angeles. <laughs> All right, this is from Kayla in Erie, Indiana. You ever been to Erie, oh, Indiana? Sure, I place there, like there, like there swimming. Nah, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Dear Craig. I read that men are struck by lightning four times more often than women. Why is this? Because we are partially metal. <laughs> right, Jeff? Got that problem all the time. Yeah. <laughs> this is from... He used to hang about outside a coffee shop up in Melrose and he gets struck on his uh, mohawk many times. That's right. Yeah, he used to hang about in front of a coffee shop. Yeah, all right. This is from Tyler in Milwaukee in Wisconsin. Never been to Milwaukee? I have been to Dear Craig and uh, Jeff. What? Dear Greg and Jeff, I, I could get, uh, how could I get my math grade up to an A or a B? Can you give me some advice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. We are the big college graduates. <laughs> you think I'd be working in a I could basement if I could do math? <laughs> This is from Nora in Trenton, New Jersey. I know we're out of time. I'll just very quickly. All right. Hi, Craig. My, if my husband is wearing an outfit that doesn't match, is it okay to tell him or should I say nothing and avoid hurting his feelings? Um, Jeff. Uh, take him to Holland. <laughs> this is from Adam in Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita in California. Ever been to California? Yeah, yeah, I have. No. Uh, no. I, I'm here now. What? Uh, just read it. I, oh, God. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, how old were you when you started growing facial hair? Do you have any advice to help me grow facial hair? Uh, Jeff, do you have any... <laughs> 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 oh, why? Why? Yeah. I enjoy seeing you suffer. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Finally, this is from Jenna in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't know if you can tell from the tweet, uh, the picture there, but Jenna's a cockatoo. Uh, <laughs> says, uh, hi, Craig, I like to fall asleep with the sleep timer on the television, but my husband prefers silence and makes me turn it off. Who is right? You. familiar with the dance I'm doing right now. It's called the robot. Jeff, over to you. <laughs> Game, set, and match. Could you help me move my other arm? Sure. Technically, this is called a... What's that coming to go? Is on Dancing with the Stars. Right, so, yeah. 
It's on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays on ABC and on the internet and on CBS, NBC and Fox. <laughs> All right, I'm exaggerating a bit. It's Mondays and Tuesdays on ABC. Please welcome the adorable Carson Cressley, everybody. Goes... Welcome, Carson. Thank you. First of all, it's yes. very nice to see you, but I have to scold you. Oh, my gosh, what did I do now? Well, when you come out to dance with me, you took right. the lead. I'm used to that. I know it's weird because, like, um, but that's how they're teaching me on Dancing with the Stars. So I apologize. I thought you were a small Latvian woman. <laughs> it happens. It's not just... the first time people have made that yeah. mistake. No, I know. I know, and I know you're sensitive about it. So I am. I do Actually, apologize. It was once on a, on a Starbucks on Melrose, just up there. On Stanley. Yeah, yeah, with Melrose I, and Stanley. Yeah, yeah. I saw you there. I was the one with the eyeliner. I remember, yeah. yeah. That was me. How are you doing on the Dancing with the Stars? Is it going all right? Uh, it's going okay. I'm still on the show. Yes, that's good. great. Yeah. Week two. And uh, we had a little scare last week because um, supposedly Nancy Grace's nipple popped out. Ah. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking. They're I, like, did I, you see it? I was yeah. like, that's not where hey, I was looking. Get, listen, you know something? I'm straight and I wasn't looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was looking at the Latvian guy yeah, yeah, with his yeah. shirt off. Yep. I'm like, those are nipples I enjoy. No, why, why, aren't, why aren't you dancing with a man? You're a gay man. Why don't you dance with I, a man? That's a good question, and a lot of people have tweeted me that question. Right. And um, I thought I should, and I thought that would be great because that's kind of like how I dance in my personal life. And mm. then... Um, I tweeted out, I said, I'm probably going to be dancing with Max, which was kind of a lie because I didn't know. Right. And then he got a tiny bit mad at me. But oh. then when I met him, I tried to lift him up, and I was like, I'll take the small Latvian ah. woman. I was like, I'm not lifting that giant Russian over my head. No, thank you. Yeah. Not even have a try? Hey, just a little hey. try? Just, just not on the show. Well, okay, that seems fair. What about, uh, what, were you a dancer before the show? I was not a dancer. And um, there are bookies in Vegas who did, like, the odds on Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, who is doing the odds on that? Is it, like, an old showgirl oh, no, or, like, no, a gay a, guy? No, like, it's a big deal. There is? Yes. And yeah. they, they had my odds very high, like, four to one, because they assume that all gays can dance. But I was, I didn't get that gene. <laughs> It's very weird. You're telling me as a gay man you have trouble dancing? I have trouble dancing. What about interior Tragic. design? Interior design okay? Fantastic. Well, thank goodness for that. Florist. Amazing. Right, right, right. Good. Sometimes when I'm on planes, I just start flight attending. Nice, you know? nice. It's just, it's in my blood. Right, right. But so, the, so you've got enough but to get by. Dancing right. is, I think I got so much in the other areas right. that I, my cup just didn't fill up for the dancing part. Oh, that's, uh, the dancing they do there, I think they should do different dancing, you know, solo performances Right. As well. I'd be good at that. Like very contemporary, where like the start robot. as a mushroom and then I blossom into a flower and yeah. Did you uh, did you do a lot of drugs when you were younger? Just this morning. Just this Just morning. Just this morning. That's probably why I got the mushroom idea. No. No, I'm kidding. I'm I can't kidding. imagine you no. were a big drug. Taker, not really. Right? No. no, not at all. Not at all. I was all. practically Amish. I'm from Pennsylvania. Really? Yeah. I I always think of you as being partially Amish. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's usually. Especially when I wear black and a little straw, people nope. are always like... Do you like, know what's good uh, about the Amish? What's that? You say what you like, they don't have TV. <laughs> you can't offend them. I know. Yeah. And, you, and you won't offend them on Twitter? No, nothing. No, they're not, no, they're not no. watching. They're not watching. You can make all the Amish jokes you want. No, you let's won't raise a mail. barn with our hats right, on. Right, uh, right. Uh, let's turn some milk again. Yeah. Actually, that's not a very mean no, thing to say. not really. Have you ever raised a barn? Uh... Literally? No, it's a bit like a what's the coming to go? Or whatever I am. Uh, what's the coming to go? Right? It's ooh-la-la! -la. Yeah. Ooh -la -la. A real uh, thing? I don't know. It sounds like one of those weird, like, sex yeah. things, like a... Crikey! Crikey dinga! No, you stuff. can't say that! Oh, I can't? No! Oh, dear! No, you can't! We've okay. tried saying them before, and, and what happens is the sensor looks them up, and the right. real ones you're not allowed to say, but right. you're allowed to say fake ones, like... Okay. A crikey dinga! Or, or bug it! Bug it! No, that's a real one! Is that real? Tootsie Fruitsie. Is it a real one? Is it Tootsie Fruitsie. Real? We're not going to have any show left. No. 
We'll have to start dancing or something. No, no, I, I, you, I couldn't do that show. Don't, is the exercise, do you have to rehearse a lot and stuff? Like, yeah, um, it's kind of a full-time job, like six hours we rehearsed what? today. And then I raced right over here, put some gel in the hair, and popped on a jacket and went to see Craig. Well, you, you, look, you look very good. That's well, a thank nice you. Jacket. Thank yeah. you. You lose a lot of weight doing Dancing with the Stars. You do? Yeah, Christy yes. Alley lost a lot of weight when she did right, last yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. Have you lost? You, you don't I've have lost, any to lose. No, I lost like seven pounds, but I want to get down to my birth weight by the end of the show. <laughs> it, are, no. thing, are, are, are the other contestants competitive? Is it kind of jealousy and schadenfreude and all the things we love about show business? Um, it hasn't gotten there yet. Right. You know, because the first couple of weeks you're all like best friends and you all don't know what you're doing, so you're kind of in it together. And then somebody gets sent home and then you go into like survivor mode. And I'm just yeah. like, did Nancy Grace poison these cookies she gave me? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, no, she did. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they were very buttery. Yeah, yeah. I was worried. I wouldn't have thought Nancy Grace would have buttery cookies. She does. <laughs> she does. They were quite moist. Really? I, uh -huh. I would have thought them a little dry. No. Oh, the things you learn. You know, yeah. Exactly. The th exactly. No, listen, um, we're out of time, but... Already? Oh, well, okay, well, let's read a tweet. Okay, let's read a tweet, yes. Well, we, I only have one. It's the one on the Eiffel Tower. Okay. I've been saving it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, then. Let's I'll do it. it. All right. Okay. All righty. How weird it's addressed to you. No, that it's not. That is weird. Not, no. <laughs> This is, uh, by the way, when I was in France, I suggested this color scheme to them. This is fantastic. Yeah. I hope they took your advice. No, they were like, no, I don't like it. It's garish. Yeah. Did you look like a blue? No. It's, it's a little garish. You know, for an Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is a bit much. Although, you, have you seen it recently? Uh, with the, the, the lights Eiffel on Eiffel Tower? No, I've, I've... What do you mean, the actual Eiffel Tower? Well, is that like, one of those sex things, an no. Eiffel Tower? Oh, no, it sounds like it, it could does. be. It does, yeah. Like yeah. A Let's do an long Eiffel Tower. Like a French thing here. You no. ride the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> I'll climb up. Uh, I've got the buttery cookies. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, this is uh, from Tracy in Tacoma, Washington. You ever, you ever been there? I haven't been there. Oh, okay. I've been to Seattle, but not Tacoma. No, it's a Someday. Completely different. Well, yeah. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig, Jeff, Secretary, and Carson. Fantastic. I love when they include me. Mm -hmm. My dog gates men often and bites them. It puts a big dampener on my dating life. Should I lose the dog or stay single forever? What, what do you think? Hmm. Did it say her dog gates Yeah, men? gates. What does that mean? I, is that... Gates My dog men. gates men. Is that one of those things I like I think it's uh, a typo. I think it's supposed to be hates men. Oh. Right. <laughs> I think it's hates men. First of all... First of all, Tracy gets spell check. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, um, I think her dog might be a lesbian. I don't know. It's possible. Do, do, you, get, do you get gay dogs? I'm... Almost, I think I read once that like there are like 147 species that are that can be gay. Well, yeah, but yeah. I, I I agree. I know that. I mean, penguins, I know. penguins are oh, like flaming. So look you at know, their outfits. Uh, Hello. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, they are penguins. Yeah. Are, I mean, all the time. They are mad for it. Well, they're but... always wearing formal. Yeah, yeah. And they're like super gay. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little bow ties. Yeah, yeah. Uh. But the uh, no the um, but dogs. I didn't know. I guess yeah. Well, I've had male dogs hump my leg, so <laughs> I'm just saying. So have I. See, that was a gay dog. Does that mean I'm gay? No, it just means you, your dog might be. Because uh, I'm cool, man. I'm yeah, way. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's what I think Tracy's problem is. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you are. Then, uh, then we've uh, well, we're done. All righty then. Well, no, that was no, so no, no. climactic. No, 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 no. We are okay. we are done with the formal part of the interview. Oh. Now it's the big finish, okay. where you do the awkward pause okay. or mouth organ. Yes. <laughs> or um, go for the big cash prize. Hmm. What happened to the glittery ball? Oh, it's still here. Okay. That's more of a specialist thing. Okay, do you want yeah. the glittery no, ball? No, I've already got glittery balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thing. You know, I've got no, no, I think everywhere. it's fine. I think it's right. Um, I will do, um, let's do the big cash prize. Big cash prize, yeah. okay, let's go for it. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay, $50 in singles, right? Are you ready? You yep. can answer one question. Okay. And if you get this right, you win $50 in singles. Acceptable at any strip club across these United States. Fantastic. Or that Starbucks. Uh, or at Starbucks, that'll get you two cups of coffee. Great. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Yes. The capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. Okay. Which came first, the Frisbee or miniature golf? <laughs> now, how does this relate to Bjork? Um, the Frisbee or miniature golf? I think mini golf. Oh, Carson. Try again. <laughs> the Frisbee. Yeah! She's in a new film, Machine Gun Preacher, which is in theatres now. Please welcome this spectacular Michelle Monaghan, everybody. Michelle Monaghan. You are not going to believe this. What? I used to work at the Starbucks on Melrose <laughs> and Stanley. No way. Yes, yes. That's yes. insane. <laughs> I was only part time. Did you work? Did you work uh, uh, in the coffee department or the other? Uh, the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom. Yes, I was. I was only part time. No, no. I can't believe we didn't run into each other. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I wasn't there. Jeff was there. <laughs> Tons of times. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. I, I didn't know you were part of that. Yeah. That posse. Yeah. <laughs> you look great. You've done. Thank so what's you. going on with you? You look a little different. What's I, going on? You know what? I, I colored my hair red. It, it looks. It looks like it's red hair. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Please. Please. Thank if you. we start applauding red hair, we could be here for some time. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of red hair, though, but do you guys? You know, in Australia, they don't. They tend to give redheads a hard time. Gingers. Yes. What about in Scotland? Is it kind of... No. Really? No, gingers in Scotland are Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> there, so you're there, not... there are many of your people. Yeah, uh, exactly. No, but I went to... There, there's herds of them sweeping across the country. Yes. They're everywhere. Yeah. No, exactly. being a ginger in Scotland is very acceptable. It in is. fact, lauded. You're, you're one of the elite. Really? Yeah. You put a crown on your lovely yeah, yeah. mane. Do you, is this uh, your natural color? No, it's not. Wow, it looks really But you know beautiful. what? I love it so much. I changed it for a role, and now I'm going to keep it. I'm running with it. Right. And, 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 do, do, yeah. and you like it. My husband likes it, so well, why else would that's, <laughs> that's great. That's yeah. great. I mean, it doesn't cause any... Um, problems? No, 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 no problems at all. It, it actually enhances. Really? And it, yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Nice. I you didn't know, know that. No. <laughs> it, well, it kind of looks a little bit. You uh, you look kind of like a Monaghan. You look kind of Irish. That's yes. That's what my that's what my family's telling me. Everyone's. Yeah. No, yeah no, but we don't have any redheads, but I feel more Irish than ever. And really, have you? I'm ever? drinking more heavily than ever. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. That's, that's, so you want to get in so, there and get the get? Do you drink Guinness? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't drink Guinness. I can't really get into it. It's really, it's really filling. Filling. But you know what I heard about Guinness? What? Is that um, when you're nursing? Oh yeah, it's very good for breastfeeding. It's very mothers. great for breastfeeding. It is. It I is. was like, Absolutely. that is a hell of an excuse. Yeah, to yeah, like, no, you know, I'm doing it for the baby. You well, know what you I know, mean? It, like, it's a certain amount. We're yeah. not talking about yeah. going down the pub no, and but... drinking <laughs> ten pints of Guinness with the baby exactly. on your breast. <laughs> No, exactly. But, but a, a little bit of Guinness yeah. helps with uh, milk production. It does, it does. Yeah. Only the Irish would come up with that, of yeah, course. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Have you ever been to Ireland? No, I haven't. Can well, you believe that? I can, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I could say no. You're well, lying. <laughs> no, no I, I believe you. Well, maybe it's time. Yeah. Do you know where the Monaghans are from? Well, from the, the county of Monaghan. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. you got a whole county to The yourself. whole county. And my folks actually went over there when they happened to be celebrating um, the county of, of Monaghan, like, you know, big, big celebration, yearly celebration. So that the annual they, Monaghan Fest. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Basically. And they, 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 I think Monaghan they mistakenly. Apologia, I think it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly right. right. I think they mistakenly thought it was for them. For them. Really, so they really, they have had you not, a you, 
have you haven't been to uh, Scotland or, or I've been to Scotland. I went to Isle of Skye. Oh, that's very close yeah. to Ireland. Oh my you... gosh, it's like it's so beautiful there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, can't, I every time I think about it, yeah, that's true. And we were. I, I, I know. Oh my gosh. Well, I was there during summer too, so it goes on all whoa, night long. Whoa, whoa. No. <laughs> Drinking coffee in the Starbucks. It's just sorry, but anyway, um, anyway, it's the red hair. You see? Well, it's yeah, sassy. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> well, there you are then. So, what, what, yeah. what's your summer been like then? Well, <laughs> what have you been up to? I let's see. Where, where I've been in Cleveland. I was in I was in Cleveland working, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> That's nice. It's really nice. I oh, you made the Machine Gun Preacher movie. I and, did. And, and Jerry, my friend Jerry, is in that oh, movie. Yes. It's another great Scott. He's Scottish, you know. I know. You know I, he was here uh, recently, and he, his hair's all. He's Long done something mad with his hair as well. He is. He's he's like he's become, he's going to be a surfer or something. Yeah, he looks like kind of Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Did you guys get along okay? We got along great. You yeah. looked like you were getting along in that sex scene yeah. in the car, right? <laughs> Do you know it was so funny though? And there's a sex scene in the movie, and we're portraying a real life. I know. Couple. I saw it about four times, and I only and, saw the yeah, movie yeah. once. <laughs> and the real life couple, they were so they loved the movie, the real life couple who were portrayed, but they were so disappointed in us because they didn't think the pinto, which we had sex in, wasn't rocking enough. They were like, we were really dis, we really would have had that pinto rocking. Well, and I was like. I mean, I, 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 it's Jerry now, Butler's listen, a fault. Lot of I was giving say, it a good go. You well, know? I, I believe you, and I know Jerry likes to throw himself at that kind of thing with gusto, but yeah. the, uh... <laughs> it was a Pinto. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of... But a Pinto, move. Pintos are a much maligned car. They're actually very stable. Are they right? Because they've got the wide, the wide base on exactly, them? Exactly, and yeah. that's what you want, is yeah. a wide base. <laughs> Yeah, it is. You want a nice wide base, keep things nice and stable so that if things start rocking too much, yeah, no, it's, it's comfortable. Like you want to be tight, tight circumstances. I think you should dye your hair red. I think you're almost there. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I am almost there. Oh, dear. I am. <laughs> Uh oh, TV. Uh, hey, um, we're out of time. Do you want some? Yes. Uh, would you like a mouth organ? Uh, yeah, I would like. Oh. I already had that. Um, I will. I will take cash. Oh. I will take cash. <laughs> well, you mean you'd like to go for the big cash prize? Yeah, I'd like prize. to go for the All big right. cash prize. All right, you don't like. I'll take cash. <laughs> All right. Fifty dollars and okay. singles acceptable at any strip club in these United okay. States. All right. Deal. Okay, you ready? Okay. One question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Okay. Reykjavik is its capital okay. city. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Within one hundred pounds, what is the heaviest pig of all time? <gasps> Within I. Within one hundred pounds. I don't. I think they they would exceed a hundred pounds for sure. No, no, within a hundred pounds. Oh, within a hundred pounds. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. Not, it's not like you, you, the hundred pounds. Oh, oh, look okay, at that pig. Okay. I would say, I would say two. I would say two fifty. Oh, no. Shut up. <laughs> no, I would. I wouldn't say that. If I was you. <laughs> would I? Would I say a hundred pounds? No, no, no. You wouldn't say a hundred pounds either. <laughs> I would say probably something like. 220 pounds? <laughs> 220? 2,000 pounds? 2,200. I think we can give you that! I think we can! Shut up, everybody! We'll be right back! There you are! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? CBS would like to apologize for any suggestive or titillating banter that was on the show tonight. In no way did we wish to upset anyone or give anyone a boner. Bye, everybody.